I'm going to talk about the off-white air forces and the uh, a cold wall air forces also. Um, I think they're both dropping on the same day, I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check that for you guys. The air forces are dropping on the 19th of December and... Oh, sorry, the off-whites are dropping on the 19th. The cold wall are dropping on the 21st. Carry on with it. Um, so... Yeah, I think the black off white um off white air force looks amazing and unreal. I think um in hand it's gonna look cool, but part of me thinks it might be slightly underwhelming, like the blazers, like pictures of them looked you know, really cool and that, but when once you got them in hand it was a bit underwhelming, like the materials and everything. And then we've got the vault pair on the right, not my thing, too loud, but I have seen like fits and stuff of people wearing similar shoes and they actually look pretty cool. So if that's your sort of thing, you know, being loud or whatever, then obviously this is a cool shoe for you. Um, both shoes will have resale, but we'll discuss that later on. And uh, let's get into um, a few raffles for these and also just want to big up the sole supplier because um, as you can see we're on their page, they always have um, raffles up or whatever. And they're probably like the biggest like outlook for trainers in the UK. So yeah. <clears throat> now a lot of these raffles are closed because if obviously um, they drop tomorrow, but end is still open. I've already entered it, so I can't. Um, Foot district is open. Um, Foot patrol is closed, but that's collection only. Um, naked same again with that you win the raffle to get a chance to purchase so it's sort of it's 50 50 on that raffle um and then obviously overkill patter they're like overseas shops slab jam socialism still open sns and then a lot of these are actually overseas shops so you can choose whether or not it's worth it let's have a look at how much these guys have got the retail on for because I know for Antonio Milano I think it's called um, they have the cold wall pair for 192 euros which is quite a bit over retail to be honest um, for this raffle here it's quite easy to jig um, it's actually a calories raffle so no doubt um, the retail will be up a little bit and there's probably um, a decent amount of shipping but I'll just go through how to make multiple entries again what I want to do is say if my name was William um, Smith say if that was my name and I've entered first time around with all the correct details then to jig it I would literally just do another M a dot um, an apostrophe slash brackets numbers commas whatever misspellings spaces any way to add an extra character into that name or minus an extra character into that name um, the bot that runs on this site will think it's a different person a different name same goes for the surname email address um, so for this one you must have an account registered with the same email to participate now that one it doesn't really stop us but what it does do is mean we've got to make for as many emails as we use to so say if your name was will smith at gmail dot com then you guys know that just before the at we just want to put in a plus one and obviously it jigs it so it's essentially a different email but goes to the same as the will smith at gmail and then we just do plus two plus three etc all we'll have to do here is register these emails before we use them, which is a bit annoying. But, you know, it's got to be done. It depends how much you want to grind this out, how much you want to win it. And then address is essentially just the same thing. Say if I lived on 1 Wavy Street, then all I would do is jig it. I could spell it not, spell it wrong, do ST, put a dot in there, two dots, etc, etc it's very easy or I could just leave it as wavy street and then in address line 2 I could just do A or 1A 
you know, like a flat. So when they come to your house, they actually just deliver it to your house because obviously there is no such thing as 1A or such. If you actually live in a flat, then obviously don't do this. It's going to go to the wrong place. And for the zip code, we just do the same thing. So say if I lived in 09A, 7 df say if that was my postcode obviously i just put dots slashes apostrophes um spaces because with the postcode you can't actually change the actual postcodes so i only use like um grammar really because if you change the postcode then obviously that's what one of the main things they use to find your address city same thing um state same thing country you can just do united kingdom for each time because you know, say if you're entering 50 times, I mean, there's more than 50 people from England, isn't there? And then your size, um, enter it the same size or different sizes, that's completely up to you. And then you just want to hit submit. Now, I haven't done this raffle, I'm not going to do this raffle, um, if I'm being nice, can't really be bothered. And <clears throat> if you want to grind it out and enter it the most, then that's cool, um, you might win. Um, but once you press submit, if it asks for credit card details, then obviously you can't enter it multiple times because we don't have multiple credit cards. But if it doesn't, then the multiple entries will all be valid for this raffle. So get your entries in on that. And uh, end is also open as we just seen. So this is the raffle side of things done. Now what I'm going to do is just head over and do the same, but for the a cold wall um collaboration so here we are again soul supplier um everyone seems to rate these shoes i'm not too sold on them myself um the the white one looks pretty cool um the black one it's a bit underwhelming for me but anyway as you please guys note that resale price as well 165 um it's about 25 30 quid over the off whites but as you can see here we've got a lot of extra raffles that are still open um and we all know um it's a lovely raffle it tells you if you win or lost foot patrol i've won it myself using multiple entries i used to be able to enter it through the um the mobile app i'm not sure if you can still do that i'm pretty sure you can the multiple entries does work with this. You just implement the same thing I showed you before, and it does work because I've won it. So I know firsthand it does work. And uh, the only thing you need to note with this one is it's collection from London only. So you've got to factor that in if you live far away. For example, if you lived in Glasgow or whatever, you've got to factor in the train fare or however, the plane fare to get into London which is obviously a lot anyone in the UK knows anything to do with London is expensive um, SNS it's essentially the same as end and that's it for raffles it looks like offspring obviously also have like the best raffle system in my opinion um, move on to some other um, retailers first thing I'm gonna mention is foot patrol <coughs> Now you guys know what I say about Foot Patrol and that is the day before the drop, excuse me, tonight. So tonight we need to be on Foot Patrol at around 8 o'clock, just get it all loaded up so it's all nice. Um, You just want to press new in or whatever, just let your computer get accustomed to being on this website. I know it sounds weird, it doesn't really have any like technical sig significance but... Just do it anyway, and um, when you come to when you come onto it tomorrow, say they they should be releasing, you know, the off white air forces foot patrol usually do off white releases. Then you'll come here, just press foot patrol or just press new in again. It'll probably put you in the queue page, but you actually do get through that queue within like ten fifteen minutes. So that's pretty cool and something that's worked for me in the past um i haven't actually been able to cop anything because for the not for resales i i was working so i couldn't anyway and that was the last time i really went for anything before that was the off-white converse 2s 
which I've got a video on YouTube and you can see how frustrating that was. But yeah, for tomorrow, um, we want to be ready tonight. Um, and then for the Cold War, I'm not sure they'll be getting them in, but they most likely are. And we just want to do the same thing on Thursday night or Friday night, whatever day it is. And another thing I've just realised by looking at my phone is the off bites are actually 150 quid, not 120. So yeah, that's another thing to factor in if you're, you know, trying to resell. If you're wearing them, obviously you're not bothered. I mean, I think they're worth 150 quid. Like they look amazing. But anyway, this is Foot Patrol. Um, let's move on to the next release method, which is Soulbox. Soulbox will really be releasing both. Guys in cut groups and stuff will probably have access to early links and such. So they'll probably have like a head start, unfortunately. So yeah, Soulbox will be getting both pairs. Now, what's really important about with Soulbox is you've got to prepare for it. So I'm going to go through some of the things you need to do. So you need to have multiple Chrome users, which um, if you go into Google Chrome, go into the top right, you should be able to see like, a little person, a grey person, and you can see my drop down menu of multiple people here. You just want to go and manage people and add people, they're Chrome users. So basically, if you guys don't know, on a hyped release such as this one, they will um, they'll have like a queue, and uh, you'll be able to see that now. So you, they'll have a queue, and the queue will like um, stop you from getting onto the site. And both bot and manual users do have to go through that queue. But one thing to do is log on to it now and you can see how the 17 hours. You can just press a size like such. And on occasion, it literally just lets you add to cart. And you'll get whatever. If you're extremely lucky, you'll check out. Most likely not. But anyway, um, with that out of the way, you want to open up a few. Not a lot. A few um, Chrome users say three to five, five being the maximum, and have them all on Soulbox just trying to bypass that queue. Um, if you download the edit this cookie Chrome extension, and if you press that, and it'll come up. Wait, let me show you. Right, so this is that extension. If you press that, and if you press the first one, this value, this number. It'll actually show you place in the queue while you're in the queue, so you can see, and it does change quite a lot. So, um, that's a pretty handy thing. But what you want to do is make sure you have an account. You can press this account page here, and uh, make sure that you have an account so you can just fill everything in. Um, log into PayPal beforehand, um, just so you don't have to fill everything out. And make sure that you don't use too many Chrome users because you can get blocked. If you get the maintenance page, just refresh. It's as easy as that and it will let you through. Um, say if you do get past the queue um, and you press in add to cart a lot, just be wary that you don't add more than one because if you do add more than one, then it won't let you proceed. And one thing you can do is, you know, just add a random anything to your cart. Um... I'll just show you now, just literally add anything to your cart. <clears throat> and once it's in your cart, you can bookmark this page and the payment page. So on the day, if you do happen to cart, you can just press your bookmark links. Um, that will be exactly the same for a Cold War release method. So that's Soulbox and Foot Patrol. They're like the best chances you have going manual for like sites because everything else is just butted to hell like DSM and KIF and all of that. But the final place to cop is of course Nike itself. Now, <clears throat> in people exclusive access to shoes, I mean I think two days ago it was off-white Prestos. Today I'm seeing guys get off-white blazers and I think the day before it was the Mentors as well. So keep an eye on your sneakers account guys. <clears throat> but anyway, here you can see they loaded up onto the app and unfortunately they are going to be a draw at 9 o'clock. 
So I know that's inconvenient for a lot of people that are at school and such or work or whatever, but the draw is really easy to enter. Um, if you've got all your details logged in and such and all of that, then it literally takes two seconds to enter. With the raffle, I literally have no idea how to increase your chances. Um, we had a go at the Leo drop method. I didn't cop the spider versus. So obviously it's a bit unlucky, a bit of a flaw in the system, but I do think that helps um, trying to get the sizes left over. But with the raffle, I'm completely not sure on how to increase our chances with that. The only thing we can do is try and get multiple entries in by creating multiple accounts. And of course, we want to use a different payment method for each account. And in my opinion, I think we do just need to stick to the app itself. I would leave this desktop site alone. Um, that's completely up to personal choice though, guys. I just feel as though there's a better chance on the app. Um, but I have seen a few, a few wins on the desktop, but I do have to stress it's only a few. You see most wins on the mobile. And of course, with the mobile, there's every chance of um, there being a scratch off, which is literally you just use your finger and scratch images like so. Only works on the mobile app, I'm pretty sure. And you can win exclusive access. Um, I used to really like Scratches Off. Um, I thought it was really cool and uh, really fair. But now bots and cut groups and such do have monitors which tells them when a Scratch Off comes live or whatever. So you do have to take that into account. Um, don't be too disheartened if you do find a Scratch Off and you're too slow. Um because obviously it's just not a fair landscape. That's that for both trainers. I mean, um, the Cold War will also be a raffle as well. Keep up, keep an eye out for other retailers. Of course, there's in-store stuff you can do. Um, have a look at End, uh, Glasgow, Newcastle, London, Foot Patrol, SNS, you know, the usual lot. Try Offspring and such. I wouldn't bet any money at all in them being in the Manchester or Birmingham branches or the Shoreditch branch. But you never know. Um, some They might start spreading out the stock. I doubt it, but you never know. And that's everything so far as release. Now, I want to talk a little bit about resale and hype. Because I know some guys are here just to make a bit of money. And that's fine because... Uh, good money can be made from it and someone like me if I ever do choose to resell I 99.9% .9 of the time spend it on shoes anyway so right now the vault pair on StockX is going for about $500 which is like I don't know 380 to 400 quid and these are like early pairs so it's quite a low resale price to be honest so when they actually come out Depending on stock, because I'm not too sure about stock. Um, with it being a raffle, we can infer that is very low stock. So, with that being said, you can expect resale to be around three hundred pounds, and um, maybe it'll rise a little bit on drop day when people realise they're actually a lot more limited than they thought they were. Maybe three fifty, but I'm struggling to see them go anything above four hundred. Now the reason I'm mentioning that is because you've got to think about is say if you're getting a win from Offspring in London and you live very far away and the train costs about 100 quid so you're spending £250 and is it worth going to London for that um, or is it cheaper to pay resale and less hassle? That's completely up to you. In most cases it will be worth going to London but um, if you do have the intention of reselling and you have resold in the past, you do need to watch out because people are snitching, um, people are really petty and just um, they will tell offspring about you if you make it known that you've, if you comment, oh yeah, I got a W, can't wait to go get my pair, um, someone can snitch on you, um, they probably will snitch on you, so just be wary of that. And they can actually block your pair, so then you've just spent 100 quid on a train for no reason. So that's something to think about. Um, that's for the vault pair. For the black pair, I can't actually see them on, you know, StockX, but I'm sure they'll be 
actually, yeah, I found them. Um, they they too were going for around five hundred, so similar sort of prices. I do expect the Vault one to be slightly less than the black one, just because the black one will no doubt have more demand. But what usually happens with these sort of colorways is they make less pairs of the Vault, so that might bring the resale back up. But you never know. Um, no one can predict resale, but we'll just have to see. The Cold Wall pairs in the white are going for $550-ish. So that again is like 400 450 um, I do expect that to drop to like three eighty, three fifty to three eighty. Um, that's for. Um, that's for the white pair. For the black pair, I think you could be able to pick up a pair for like three hundred to three twenty. Um, after they drop, um, resale wise. So obviously both shoes are profitable. Um, if you get multiple pairs, it's more profit, and such. But if you're going for pure resale purposes, it's definitely worth it. And yeah, that's everything I want to say on both shoes. The release is coming up soon. I hope we all get lucky. And um, if you've got any more tips or questions, leave it down in the comments so other people can learn a thing or two and other people can, you know, cop or whatever. And one thing I want to say really quick is don't forget to check out the Insta Trainer Talk UK. I'm always updating things on there, you know, saying when the off white Converse restock happened, when Offspring might have done a competition and a few minutes later they did it. Um, so, yeah, make sure you follow the Insta and turn post notifications on. Um, like, say, when I get a bit of information, nine times out of ten, I'll just put it straight on my Insta. So, Trainer Talk UK, make sure you go give that a follow and have a good day and uh, tag me in all your Ws you get tomorrow. Take care guys.